You drove them off pretty well. Never seen troublemakers run off so fast. Though they're not the type to learn, they'll be back. You left the job off done, but I guess I should thank you for fighting them off. Huh? You're hurt? Let me see. Stop moving or I'll make the wound worse. There you go. Still as can be. Who needs a tranquilizer when you have fear? Hmm. Yeah, that's deep. Come on, you're coming with me. Whatever your name is. Not a bad name. Sounds unusual. Sounds tough. My name is Momiji. Save the cheap flattery for someone it'll work on. Now let's go. Welcome home, human. Give me a moment. I'll get the fire going. Human, I was watching you fight, and I have some questions. Your sword, your stance, your ability. All of them are beyond what I'd consider natural. Who are you? I see. Another fool from the outside world. And a teacher no less. I've never entertained a teacher before, let alone one who survived by themselves for so long, it seems. You seem worried. You should be. Your kind doesn't last that long. Humans from the outside die all the time here. I've seen humans lured by the sweet songs of the night sparrow, and some walk the graveyard grounds, their humanity stolen by the talismans on their head. The mention of Scarlet most of all. Its halls are filled with humans, trapped, wrung dry, never to be seen again, drawn in by the whispers of vampires their lies of love. And then there's me, my blade and my hands, all of which have taken a human's life. Don't get so cocky just because you're good with a blade. This world is made to feed on people like you. That wounds should be proof enough. Speaking of, let's get you patched up. It won't take long for a wound like this to heal. A few days keeping still and new bandage wrap will be enough. I don't see why you're so confused. It's only natural to keep useful things in good repair. Yes, you heard me right. Useful. At least, useful enough to keep around. Far more useful than humans who usually visit. There. Done. While you're taking up space in my house, want some tea? You don't need to thank me. You have already helped out a lot. This is my thanks for that. But you should consider returning. Gensokyo hardly needs someone like... <laughs> you want to become a Tengu? You're nothing more than a human with a decent sword arm. Beyond that, what do you have to offer? Teaching wolf caps? <laughs> You're kidding. No, no. I'm laughing because it's a cute thing to say. And I accept the offer. We'll get you some fake wings. If you want to become a Tengu, see if you can fool the wolf cubs first. Though we'll have to do something about that face of yours. It's not rugged enough to be a Tengu's. Too soft and smooth. Far too cute. It's getting hot in here. I'm going to open the door. Aya will be here tomorrow, along with tomorrow's paper. 
when she gets here you two can talk things out. Don't lie to her either. Tell her everything about yourself, or she can't help. The cops are the only ones you should try and fool. Hear that? I don't often get to appreciate peace with another person. Feels nice. So far. The fireflies seem to blur the line between the starry sky and the earth. <laughs> Forgive me for waxing poetic, I just... <sighs> Looking at them sometimes makes me want to hang my sword up for good. I'm getting tired of the fighting. That's very sweet of you to offer. But you can't fight my battles in that condition. Heal up first. <laughs> if you're so persistent, then how about this? You can stay here and protect the mountain. If you teach me some fancy moves. You seem to know a few. Ah, no, I don't have much in my home. The only noteworthy thing is I.S. newspaper. Or rather... The stack of them by your feet. Don't look at me like that. I'll read them when I feel like it. Oh, you wanna read about the news? How studious. Must be a slow news week if she's talking about old events. The Red Mist incident, the Red Moon incident, spring being stolen and something about some flowers. Events like this are commonplace here. You wanna keep reading? Whatever. Just keep reading inside, so I don't have to yell to tell you dinner's ready. What? Did I hurt your feelings or something? Oh. Yeah, I guess you're right. I've been a bit rude. I hope you weren't expecting to spend your days with a dotting doggy. I'm not like that. Kindness isn't a requirement for my job. But I'll make it up to you. A good dinner tonight, a tour of the shrine tomorrow. I hope you like both rabbits and religion, human. Well, that's too bad. You're going to have to learn how to love both. 